Hello, people of grace. Pastor Brian here to bring you your, your monthly video message. I apologize for missing last month with the craziness of Christmas and New Year's. I wasn't able to get it out to you. But this month, I wanted to talk to you about our annual theme that is coming up, and that will be on February 10th, in which we will present that uh, in worship and, and kind of set that as our theme for the year, the thing that we will live by for our next year as people of grace. And just as a reminder, last year was our first year doing that, and I talked about the tapestry of grace. And that focus was just on on the stories that we have, the people that we are in the ministries that we do, and how all of those things that we do as people of Grace Lutheran Church weave together and kind of knit ourselves and trying to find where we fit in that tapestry. And a big thank you to all those who uh, participated in that and and kind of took that on as, as the theme and went with it. We appreciate your time and effort and support of that theme. Well, this year I wanted to give you a kind of a, a heads up, a teaser, a preview of this year's coming theme, which again will be on February 10th. And this year we are going to talk about the blessing jar. The whole idea behind the blessing jar is for us to think about the daily blessings that we receive from God and from each other. And the reason why we're doing that this year is to really just kind of focus on everything that really does happen in our lives that we are blessed with and who we are blessed by and actually writing them down and putting them in a jar to help remind us of all the good things that are happening in our lives and how much we are blessed by God and others. And part of the reason why uh, we came up with this idea is because I think too often too often we, we read the news and we see all of the things that are happening. And we all know that, that news that is, uh, is, tends towards the negative uh, is read more. And so we see more and more uh, news about uh, our own political climate or the, the events happening around the world. And you can't help but see how... Uh, negative it has become, and that impacts us as people and as people of faith. And there's been studies actually shown lately that talk about the negative impact that spending uh, a, a decent amount of time on social media has as well. Uh, there's lots of great things that social media does. It connects us uh, with friends and family around uh, the nation or even around the world. But there's also a lot of negative stuff that happens on social media. People complain, people argue, people uh, post all kinds of negative things there as well. And because of that, uh, we see all of that all the time. And, and again, the studies have shown that that impacts the way in which we think and act and behave. But we are people of faith, people who have been blessed by God. And we should focus not on the negative, but on the blessings that we have in life. No matter how big or small they are, whether we're welcoming a new child into our life or grandchild or great-grandchild, or it's just simply that today was a good day. Things as small as that can be blessings in our lives. And so this year, our focus is going to be on counting those blessings by paying attention to our blessing jar. So please join us for February 10th as we uh, celebrate our new theme. And hopefully we can, can move together and kind of grow together. And I will share more about all of that and and all the different ways in which the Bible talks about blessings and love and and all the things that come from God that uh, we should be grateful for and really realize that as
the Lord's Prayer says that God provides our daily bread each and every day of our lives. I hope you have a blessed month. I hope that you can join us weekly for our worship services. And I hope that you can join us again on February 10th as we talk about and embrace the theme of the year, the blessing jar. God bless all of you, and I'll see you soon.